Hey, this is Martin here. Uh, we're going to be reviewing The Front Bottoms Going Gray, their fourth studio album released on Fueled by Ramen. You know, technically they have six albums, but uh, two of them were self released, so I don't know if you want to count them or not. But whatever. You know, they had uh, two albums released on Bar None The Front Bottoms are self titled, and uh, Talon of the Hawk, that was in 2013, and Back on Top, which was Fueled by uh, Ramen in 2015, so it's been two years since their last record. Uh, they're a New Jersey-based band. You know, they've been blowing up since they actually started. They've been steadily uh, rising. You know, they were uh, starting off like a folk punk acoustic rock band, you know, just two of them. Then they grew, you know, they did a touring member, I think his name was uh, Drew. He played the bass and some keys, melodica, whatever. And, uh, then I think around Back on Top, or maybe it was, uh, their self-titled, they got, uh, Drew may have left, and they had Tom and, uh, Sierra in there. Sierra? No, Sea Dog, whatever. Um, yeah, and then they became the new touring members. Right now, at the moment, I have no clue if they're even part of the band or touring with them. I think I saw a video where Tom was playing, uh bass uh, or guitar actually so who knows a big season in there big seat all you know uh hopefully they're still in the band touring and uh well maybe they'll come to canada on this new tour for going gray so far no uh no uh, dates up for canada but you know whatever anyways uh going gray had some great songs uh bay being one of them i didn't think i would like that one because the name i mean Whatever, it's actually a fucking great song. You should listen to it. Uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it and tell you what I like about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just singing the pre-chorus for Bay when he's saying Bay or Babe. He's mixing them both actually uh, in the mix of the audio. Uh, I love that guitar riff in there, you know, like, doo -doo. It's good shit right there. Uh, <clears throat> the chorus is great, it's really catchy, I gotta move my car, I gotta move your couch, uh, I learned the love tastes good, you shoved it in my mouth, I got all twisted up, you helped straighten me out, I gotta wake up early, I gotta move your couch. Really simple lyrics, great shit, just the, like the front bottoms are known for. You know, I feel like this album really brought it back to their old school, uh, not even old school, their earlier stuff uh, from 2000. Eight and stuff like that, lyrically, uh, production-wise on the music, great. It's like back on top, very poppy. Uh, you know, no, not as folky as it used to be. Uh, you know, uh, everyone but you. That's also a great song. It's actually one of the more overproduced ones, I'd say, but it's hands down one of the best uh, songs on the album. Uh, Oceans, probably the worst in my opinion, obviously, but, uh, I don't like it, I do not like it, I'm not a fan of it, I mean, the chorus is just not catchy at all, uh, and the instruments are fine, they're fine, whatever, I have no issue with that, uh, overall, the album, good, I'd give it a good 7 out of 10, you know, probably not their best work, actually, to date, might be their best work for full production and with full band and everything like that, uh, it's never going to be as uh, raw and emotional as their original stuff, but whatever. Still good. I'm happy they're making music. I'm ha I like to see them develop. Uh, hopefully they have new stuff for years to come, because I am a fan and I will keep on listening, so this is kind of biased, I guess, but whatever, you know? Uh, I think they released a video for a Peace Sign, Vacation Town, and Raining. Uh, I think they'll connect... Somehow each video, like, the characters in it are, uh, part, you know, they have parts in each other's video, which is kind of a cool concept. Uh, also, if you bought the vinyl, uh, which you should pick up the record or the vinyl or the CD, whatever you want, pick it up, buy it. Uh, if you bought it, you should, uh, listen because there's two hidden tracks on there. So, listen to the whole thing through and you'll find two hidden tracks. Or if you don't, I'll link them in the sub, but I think you should pick it up. Anyways, this is Martin, and we just reviewed Going Gray somewhat, you know. Uh, I'll be back again at some point. 
do another review of another album. I'll get in the groove of this. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, easy.